This video is going to show you how to tie a very simple feeder rig. No beads, no swivels and no mess, just a super easy to tie rig that never tangles on the cast. To tie this rig you will need your main line coming from your reel, we normally use six pound line for most of our feeder fishing, your chosen feeder, some split shot, some lighter line which will be used as a hook link and finally your hook of choice. Take your main line in two hands and begin creating a loop by rolling the line clockwise in one hand and anti-clockwise in the other. Bring your hands together whilst continuing to twist the line in opposite directions. The aim is to create approximately six inches of this doubled up line. This twisted section will be what kicks your hook link away from your feeder on the cast, reducing the chance of any tangles. With a decent length section created, tie a figure of eight loop knot in the twisted line. Form a loop, bring the end round behind the loop, and then pass it back through from the front. Don't forget to wet your knots before tightening down or else the line can weaken due to friction whilst pulling tight. Trim your tag end and the anti-tangle boom is finished. Thread on your feeder of choice and then pinch on a split shot just next to the knot on your main line. The size of split shot you use depends on the size of the swivel on the feeder. Now we need to tie a hook link. For this I will take my hook and some lighter line. Tie the lighter line onto the hook. For this we like to use a half blood knot. Pass the line through the eye of the hook before wrapping it around itself approximately seven times. Then place the tag end back through the loop you created next to the hook. Moisten the knot and pull it down tight. And now trim the tag end. The length of hook link that you use depends on your angling situation, but as a generalization, if we're fishing on rivers, we'll go longer. If we're fishing on lakes, we'll go shorter. This is because of how the bait distributes as it comes out of the feeder. On a river, the bait will be pushed by the flow downstream. So you wanna use a longer hook link to catch up with it. We'll also use longer hook links if the fish are very spooky and they don't wanna to come too close to the feeder. However, if those fish are ravenous and they're just going at the bait that's falling out of the feeder and you're getting very quick bites, then we'll use a very short hook link uh, to get, um, to present, sorry, the hook bait nice and tight to the feeder. For this example though, we're gonna use a hook link of approximately six inches. Now tie a figure of eight loop in the end of the hook link. Fold it back on itself and then create a small loop. Pass the end round underneath the loop before bringing it back up and then through from the front. Moisten the knot and pull it tight. Finally, cut the tag end. If tying certain knots is a little bit difficult for you and you'd like to see it in a bit more detail, then definitely check out the playlist on our channel called How to Tie Fishing Knots. That should help a little, as we use bright yellow braid and we do it nice and slowly so it's easy to follow. To finish off your feeder rig, just loop your hook link onto the anti-tangle boom like this. And there you have it, the rig's complete. Now it's worth noting that although this rig is perfect for most small river and lake situations, there are some occasions where this rig wouldn't be quite so suitable. For example, if you're just trying to cast as far as possible, if you're fishing extreme range, then we would suggest using a helicopter rig as it's slightly more aerodynamic than the one that we've just shown you. Also, if you're on a river and you're using very large weights, six ounces or so, maybe a massive feeder to try and hold the bottom on a large deep river when you're barbel fishing, then the uh, split shot that's next to the loop on this rig can sometimes become dislodged because of you know, the weight of the feeder butting up against it. If you are keen to fish a large river and fish for barbel or chub with large weights on your line or big feeders, then we'd suggest using a rig like the one we show in the video on screen now. So if you're interested in that style of fishing, you wanna use bigger weights, then definitely check out the rigs that we show in that video.